What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. This week, we got the 5 and 1 Vera Beach Volcarona taking on the 4 and 2 Black City Zekrom. Black City losing back to back games, looking to pick up a win here. Vero bringing Mewtwo, Cinderace, Tapu Koko, Alolan Persian, Alolan Raichu, and Hitmonlee and Black City countering with Zamazenta, Metagross, Volcarona, Bisharp, Naganadel, and Como O. As we see Como and Volcarona as the leads here, going up against the electric terrain lead of Koko and Raichu. Black City likes to get the Rage Powder going with Volcarona. Here we see. Raichu with a Rising Voltage. How much will this do? Could be big damage. Oh, almost knocks out Volcarona. We see the Focus Sash, though. Does come out. Oh, but the Dazzling Gleam. Guess the double knockout. Huge. Huge knockouts there. So Vero gets a great turn one there. Picking up the double KO right away. Black City not able to do anything against them. So this will definitely be a Metagross Dynamax here. Metagross was so key in the first part of the season when Black City started off 4-0. It was racking up KOs. It's definitely been held in check the last couple weeks. We'll have to see how it can do here. The Rising Voltage not doing too much. So let's see if they can get a KO here. Behemoth Bash. I assume going into Tapu Koko here. Let's see. Yes, it does go into Koko. Just able to survive. Will Metagross be doubling up into it? No, goes for the Raichu instead. So I... Oh, Raichu's gonna faint to the hail, though. I think Tapu Koko might survive, though. We do see Raichu go down. Tapu Koko will get another shot, though. Barrow still has their Dynamax available. Looks like they'll be saving that, keeping Cinderace in the back. Oh, doubling up into Zamazenta this turn. Very interesting. Tapu Koko should pick up the KO here. Knocking out Zamazenta. Metagross with a Steel Spike. Not enough against Mewtwo, so now I think that should seal it here. Tapu Koko able to survive that Hail Chip, so they should be able to double up here into Metagross. And Vera with a very strong win here.
That first turn game, that double KO, really helped them ride the momentum. We'll have to see what Black City can do to make some adjustments here. That has been kind of their weakness in the second part of the season. Now that teams know what they want to do, they just haven't been able to really adapt around it. Black City is switching up a little bit, bringing Naga Nadell this time. A different dragon type. And Vero says, hey, if it worked once, maybe it'll work twice now. Naga Nadell, at least, will not be four times weak to the Dazzling Gleam, so you shouldn't see the double KO here. I still like going for Dazzling Gleam, though. Going for Dynamax this turn. But so is Black City. They're going to be Dynamax Nagunadel here. So definitely a big switch up. Metagross is definitely their favorite Dynamax. So bringing a different lead and Dynamaxing. with the fake out does the flame body activate no flame body not gonna deal with the max ooze big damage onto tapu coco and that's gonna give not gonna deal a special attack raise starfall does do nice damage to Nagandel. Unfortunately, this will overwrite the electric terrain, which is going to hamper Raichu. And with Volcarona still around, it's going to be able to click that Rage Powder. Uh-oh. We, we've seen this twice already this week. People putting status moves on their Assault Vest Pokemon. Very, very bad. He's going for the Starfall. I don't think that's going to work out here. Raichu Choice Specs with Fake Out. That That's also not a good combo. So we're, we're starting to see some chips in Vero's armor after that strong game one. Mewtwo comes out. Another Max Ooze. Volcarone didn't go for the Rage Powder. And that's going to knock out Tapu Koko. Getting 
guys. Check check your items and what they do. Because it would have been real nice if he could have max guarded there. Oh my goodness. Huge bug buzz into Mewtwo. As well as game one went for Vero, it is now going in Black City's direction. Uh-oh. That, that's not what you want to do here. Cinderace is able to knock out Nogginadel. However, due to the choice specs... Raichu is going to be locked into Fake Out, which... Doesn't work after the first turn that you come out, so. Basically, Cinderace having to 3v1. We see some really bad uh, item choices here. That are definitely going to cost Vero this game. Summons ended with a close combat. Cinderace is a dark type. The Focus Sash does come into effect here. The Pyro Ball not doing enough to Volcarona. And I think that'll basically steal it up here. Cinderace is able to get another knockout. On to Volcarona. And Zamazenta KO Cinderace. So at least Volcarona, the Vero Beach Volcarona, I mean by that, able to pick up an extra differential point. But Black City is going to be able to finish this game off here. And we're going to get a game three. And if I were a betting man, I think I would like Black City in the game three. I liked their switch up by bringing Naganadel. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of options that Vero has to compete against that. So we'll have to see. One, if Black City keeps the same or similar strategy that won them the second game here, or if the Vero Beach Volcarona are going to be able to switch up their strategy.
Safety Goggles Persian is kind of interesting because it does ignore the Rage Powder, but we're going in game three here. Black Cities sticking with the same lead that won them the last game. Vero switching up a little bit, bringing Hitmonlee instead of Raichu. See the electric seed. Vero Dynamaxing Hitmonlee this game. Definitely switching things up here. And another Dynamax from Nogginadel. Let's see if Hitmonlee can be the difference for Vero. Special defense boost for Vero. The ooze is going to be going to Tapu Coco. Will it be enough? Ooh, Coco just able to survive. Can it get the knockout with the Thunderbolt here on the electric terrain? No, Volcarona just surviving. Another rage power comes out from Volcarona. Wants to protect that Noggin Adele from these strong max moves. Another max quake. This will knock out Volcarona. And then we're gonna see Noggin Adele return the favor, knocking out Tapu Coco. So both these Pokemon keeping up with each other. Hitmon Lee with plus two special defense, but Nagandel with plus two special attack. And now a speed increase. Zamazenta comes out for Black City and Mewtwo comes out for Vero. Both teams with their X tier legendaries. See who's faster here now. There's a diamond. Oh, Nagan Adele with the speed boost is able to outspeed Hitmonlee. But thanks to the special defense boost from Hitmonlee, he's able to survive another Max Ooze. Wonder if he doesn't have Max Wormwind. 
And the Max Quake takes down Naganadel. A big knockout for Vero. Mewtwo outspeeds Zamazenta. Connects with the flamethrower. Ooh, and gets the one hit knockout with a critical hit. This is one of those turns that just swings the momentum so far on Devero's side. Black City left only with one Pokemon. As their final remaining Pokemon is their Metagross, who has carried them so far into this season. But will it be enough? Him on Lee with a high jump kick, he misses and he takes big recoil damage. Mewtwo, however, with the flamethrower. Will it be enough? Oh, another another critical hit. Mewtwo, back-to-back -back critical hits to close the game out against Zamazenta and Metagross. Wow, so Vero Beach moving on to 6-1. and one. A stellar season for them so far. Black City loses their third straight in a row, falling down to four and three. They've got a couple big games coming up next week as Vera will be playing against the Oklahoma Thunderous, who are currently four and three, but always a scary threat. And Black City goes up against the reigning champ, the Tokyo Togek is also four and three. We got a lot of four and three and three and four teams right now, all fighting for those last few playoff spots. As always, Thanks for watching Socialites and stay classy society.